Hi, welcome to this demonstration how to install a beta flight on the excellent LQTR 120. This is the version V2. So, uh, this video will show a tutorial video will show how to install the excellent beta flight. So, first of all, you have to connect uh, your uh, micro USB cable uh, to your flying control board. But the first thing to do is to uh, download the last version of beta flight. So, you can copy this URL. So actually, uh, this is the version 2.3.1. So uh, to flash this um, uh, operating system, you will need to use a clean fly. So uh, this associated frame controlling board is uh, nothing else than the basic NASE uh, controller. So you have to download this file, okay, betaflies underscore NASE X. Okay, so uh, one is done, you copy in your favorite folder, you have to run a clean flight, okay? So first of all, you have to connect your um, USB cable to your computer, okay? And connect to uh, your uh, uh, clean flight. So first, disconnect first, because you have to flash your firmware. So you go to the third panel, flash firmware, and go to load firmware uh, from local and you will select uh, the um, uh, uh, save file here at betafly.naze okay so uh, you open and you will go to a flash here flash firmware okay and you press and you will execute the uh, uh, flashing so before flashing be sure to save some uh, our um, uh, settings if you are, but I will show some good settings that are working efficiently uh, on the LT tour. So when it's done, you have to uh, press to connect here, the button, but you have to know that the uh, frame control board is also uh, uh, got a built-in uh, receiver. So in order to make the communication, to retrieve, to restore the communication, you have to do some basic elements. So first of all, you have uh, to uh, turn on the uh, show your RX here, okay? And it is, is not active by default, so you have to uh, active this link here. And uh, you have to know also that the uh, uh, this one is also, you have to click on RX show your here, okay? Show your RX here, and uh, to be sure that it's a uh, Spectrum 1024 here. Okay, and when it's done, you have also to be sure that on the channel mapping, okay, here is using the GR spectrum ground number here. So the first channel is a throttle, okay. So you have three things to change. First of all, the port should be a uh, active the shoulder RX, okay. The second is uh, to uh, Active the RX channel here, okay. It's enhanced here when you have a spectral satellite here. And the first, uh, the last, sorry, is to be sure that the channel map is starting with the throttle one. When it's done, you can turn on the um, deviation controller and you can see that the uh, uh, you re retrieve the uh, communication, okay, with your uh, receiver. So I will show some basic uh, PID setting I found was working well. So here, here are my settings. Okay, so uh, around 3.3 .3 for pitch and roll in P, uh, until what then change to 0 0.3 and a little bit increased derivative for the first roll and pitch, so 20. And personally, I increase the yaw rate to 0 0.35 and a little bit the pitch and roll rates. Okay, and voila. And when it's done, you will see that the uh, uh, your AQTR is working much, much more efficiently. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.